The overall goal of this procedure is to measure endothelium-dependent flow-mediated vasodilation in the human brachial artery. This is accomplished by first preparing the subject. The second step is to measure the cross-sectional diameter of the brachial artery with B-mode ultrasound. Next, the brachial artery is occluded for 5 minutes. The final step is to release the cuff and measure the mean arterial velocity from Doppler spectral waveforms. Ultimately, ultrasound assessment of endothelium-dependent flow-mediated vasodilation of the brachial artery is used to show the percent increase in intima-intima diameter. This method can help answer key questions in the field of cardiovascular surgery, such as the effects of an intervention or risk stratification of a study population. Generally, individuals who are new to the technique will struggle at first because of the fine motor control that's necessary to find the anatomy and to optimize the ultrasound images. A visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the imaging steps after cuff release are difficult to learn. Moving the probe from a lateral to a longitudinal position while maintaining the region of interest takes practice. To begin, set up an EKG-gated image capture system to record and analyze flow-mediated vasodilation. Conduct the exam in a quiet, darkened room. When conducting longitudinal studies, hold repeat exams at the same time of day. When ready to begin, confirm that participants have fasted and avoided exercise for 8 hours before the exam. In addition, make sure that they have avoided caffeine or nicotine for at least 4 hours and avoided medications affecting them.